everyone, this is Tina with Overall Adventures. Thank you so much for joining me. So today we're talking about this lovely concept, Morning Pages, that comes from this beautiful book, The Artist's Way, A Spiritual Path to Creativity by Julia Cameron. The main idea that is expressed in this book is to write three stream of conscious pages of writing every single day. And so there are a couple rules I just want to go over. So one is that you do it first thing before you get up, before you start. I Most of the time I like to do this in bed. Uh, I keep my journal right on my bedside table as well as the pen. So I'm ready to go this, as soon as I get up. But sometimes I do, uh, do I take my morning pages to my desk. It's really whatever is easier for you um, and is inspiring to you. I can change it up, you know, every once in a while. The key that I also like to pair it with is some water. I like to have a big full Nalgene by my bedside before I go to sleep. It just reminds me, I like to pair these two because it's great to drink water. It's important to stay hydrated. And uh, I like to pair these two together to keep me reminded. And also, you know, you can never go wrong with tea. So why do we do morning pages? Well, the answer is really to break through our creative blocks. It's to practice not judging ourselves, not judging what we write. It's to practice habit building and self-love. And Julia Cameron has this great quote, why do we write morning pages? And she says, to get to the other side. Morning pages get us to the other side of our fear, our negativity, our moods. Above all, it gets us over this sensor. This, and I talk about this in on my other videos, this way that we judge ourselves. We repress what we really want to say in our writing, in our journaling. And this is the key to getting over that, to combating that sensor. So just to recap, all you're going to need is a notebook and a pen, some morning light, and a good place to write. A nice full water bottle or a nice hot mug of tea. And you don't need this book, The Artist's Way, but if you are struggling with intense creative blocks, I highly recommend it. Lastly, if you're stuck on what to write, I really want to challenge you to write. I can't think of anything to write. I can't think of anything to write. I can't think of anything to write for three pages. There is no value judgment here on what you are writing. It doesn't have to mean anything. It doesn't have to make any sense. I want to give you total freedom to just explore and just literally write whatever you want. Anything at all. It's this expansion. It is just for you and you alone. And that brings us to the last and final rule. You are not to go back and read them or share them on social media or anything like that. This is for you and you alone. You can go back, I guess, and read them after some months, but Julia Cameron says actually that you're not supposed to go back and read them at all. If you're really struggling with stream of conscious writing, check out uh, my video I made on how to improve stream of conscious writing up above. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Tina with Overall Adventures. I hope that this was helpful for you. If you have any other questions about morning pages, so let me know in the comments below and I will be here to be with you and help you. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me.